Hello, I'm Kim Dong-yoon, a researcher majoring in media business at Seoul Media Graduate School. The topic I prepared is a comparative study of user experience by one-person media general YouTuber and virtual YouTuber. First of all, to summarize briefly, 3D content in the single-person broadcasting sector are emerging due to the recent spread of CG technology and the popularization of online video platforms. Among them, a new content called Virtual YouTuber using VR equipment a period. Therefore, we compared the user experience of ordinary YouTuber with the user experience of virtual YouTubers and studies how to strategically use them for future development of virtual YouTubers. For the study, a survey was conducted on 50 people in their 20s to 30s, 30s using the attractive evaluation method. Let's look at the introduction. In the background of the study, the rapid development and prevalence of today's computer graphics technology has reduced the public's access to CG technology. In addition, as online video platforms such as Africa TV and YouTube have developed, anyone can easily distribute single-person broadcasting and video content. As advanced computer graphics performance, cheaper device and the development of video service platform create synergy. There are countless 3D content and service expressed in CG. Among them, a new type of video content area called virtual YouTuber using VR equipment. As the number of single-person broadcasting is increasing due to the recent increasing in the use of smart device, we would like to compare the existing human-run general YouTuber and the emerging virtual avatar. Virtual YouTuber to see how the consumer's preference differs. Let's start with the theoretical discussion and talk about VR technology and one-person media research. The commercialization of 5G service, which improves the speed and data capacity of mobile communication technologies allow us to handle more data that we have not previously handled. As the content industry related to VR technology has been revitalized, production is now expanding into fields such as games, movies, and sports by expanding its scope in the military, medical, and construction sectors in the past. Although the hurdles for accessing CG technology have been lowered, 
clear technology is still struggling to grow and popularize the virtual reality industry due to inevitable wearing of HMD by users and the occurrence of running costs for unfamiliar media technologies. Nevertheless, Millennial and Generation Z, now called Generation MZ, are good at handling smartphone and are accustomed to video communication as they are generation who watch YouTube. It is noteworthy that they are a generation that can actively accommodate single-person media utilizing via technology because they are born digital native and are active accepting new and unfamiliar media technologies. Next, let me tell you the definition of a virtual YouTuber. Virtual YouTuber is a virtual person who uses motion capture technology and CG technology to create virtual character in internet broadcasting by applying sensor to object to recognize the target's motion information. The term VTuber was first used by a Japanese kid or child in 2060, abbreviated as VTuber, and after creating a character by adding human voiced to a VTuber, it communicate with people through channels of internet broadcasting like a regular human YouTuber. Here's an example of a virtual YouTuber. Through motion capture technology using VR equipment, virtual character expressed in 3D, not real people, have become streamer and the number of virtual YouTubers contents that broadcast on various topics is increasing. Currently, virtual YouTubers are global content creator in Japan, South Korea, and the United States and mainly generate profit through advertising. Japan representative virtual YouTubers include Kichuna Ai, Kaguya Runa, Mirai Akari, Former Brain Girl Shiro and Neko Mia Hinata, while Korean's representative virtual YouTubers include Seya and Shubu. In particular, virtual YouTubers are meaningful in that they have discovered new content market by being used in TV production, music broadcasting, and mobile games. As a result, several companies are striving to enter the new video content market by developing virtual YouTubers. Among the case of virtual YouTubers in Korea, game Airsoft also showed the possibility of being 
star character of virtual YouTubers by increasing the stage of games while serving music and video through personal internet broadcasting, YouTube, and affiliate through the Elsta project. In addition, Seas YouTube's channel, Seas Story had 6,008,500 subscribers as of October 4, 2020. Why Shubu's YouTube's channel Shubu Shubu had 7,004,200 subscriber, subscribers as of October 4, 2020s. Virtual YouTuber content using star character are receiving enthusiastic response from consumers in the MZ generation. Cosmetic character side piece are familiar to the MZ generation who consumed content today and seem to have a potential to expand as VR video content using character star system business models. I would like to explain the progress of the survey. The purpose of the survey is to identify preference based on user experience in general YouTubers and virtual YouTubers for the public who have watched social media broadcast. A total of 50 People uh, participated in the survey, and those in their 20s and 30s participated in the survey. The nine media outlet of YouTube, Africa TV, Twitch, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, Naver. Be Live, Neighbor Band, Kakao TV, and Hakuna Live were selected as comparison groups. Using the attractive evaluation methodology shown in the table, attractive provides usability evaluation tools for interactive products and service, and is divided into four categories. PQ, or programmatic quality, HQI, hedonic quality simulation, HQS, attract. Attractiveness. Mm. It's obvious. Op optimal operability is an essential uh, component of interactive product and more and more products require user experience. Nowadays, it is necessary to apply an evaluation method that records both perceived practical quality, hedonic quality, and interactive products. Attractive evaluation methodology supports three scenario before and after a single evaluation, product comparison and comparison 
helping users understand how interactive products experience usability and design. Therefore, single person broadcasting is classified as an interactive product that produced contents that viewers are in interested in and like as a one person media that interact with the viewer. Therefore, virtual avatar using people and VR equipment. In this work, for comparing use experience between, we determine that using the attractive evaluation methodology is most appropriate. In order to compare the usability of video content between regular YouTubers and virtual YouTubers, data was collected using Google surveys for people who have watched social media videos. Participants in the experiment were surveyed on 50 people in their 20s and 30s as shown in table. As you can see the, in the pictures, the genera general YouTubers of the survey selected for contents by Jenna with the highest average rating among one person broadcasting such as games, eating shows, blogs, and beauty. The criteria for selecting general YouTubers case that produce contents for each genre consists of YouTubers belonging to the top 1% in the field with more than 1 million subscribers. Similarly, the virtual YouTubers of the survey selected the four channels with the highest average rating among single person broadcasting, including using virtual avatars. The selection criteria for the virtual YouTubers channel using its virtual avatar consists of YouTubers belonging to the top 1% of the top in the field with more than 5 million subscribers. The survey uses a quantitative method using a seven point scale with opposite adjective at the extremes and the qualitative evaluation method based on nine items. Let me explain the conclusion. In this work, the viewer experience of content from regular YouTubers and virtual YouTubers was analyzed using the attractive evaluation method. The attractive analyze first show that regular YouTubers are more satisfied with practical practicality. One that one seven, including evaluation items such as um, practical, practical and um, manageable, manageable than regular YouTubers, or uh, more professional than regular YouTubers. The attractive 
portfolio evaluation showed that the identity and irritation result of the general YouTuber were 1.33 points under the confidence range of 0.05 one that five one points under the confidence range of zero dot zero four and the identity and irritation result of the virtual youtuber were zero dot two four. Attractive detail item assignment by regular YouTuber and butcher YouTuber show that the average YouTuber score more detailed than the a practical practical item of practically than the average YouTubers. Take together, there were conflicting response that virtual YouTubers were not simple and difficult to deal with. As opposed to the response that they were technic technical in the attractive practicality category compared to regular YouTubers, the reason for this seems to be that via technology is easily accessed through apps such as any emoji functions on iPhone X or Galaxy 9 or higher. Neighbor Show Snow, uh, Neighbor Geppetto, and Facebook avatar making function. The result of this study compare and analyze the difference between the existing general YouTuber content viewing experience and the virtual YouTuber's content viewing experience as the VR market continued to grow and it is expected to find what factor should be strategically used in the future. However, for Korean in their 20s and 30s, virtual YouTubers are not as familiar as regular YouTubers and do not seem to be very attractive. Virtual YouTubers are thought to be different depending on their experience and preference for animation since they started with VR animation. Therefore, further research of what cultural characteristics are reflected by nationality, such as comparing the preference of Korean as Japanese virtual YouTuber content is needed in the future research. Furthermore, additional age-specific analysis studies should be conducted in parallel to those in their teens, 40s, 50s, and 60s by increasing the age group. In addition, qualitative research is needed to supplement the interviews. The reference referred to several paper presented as reference. Thank you for your attention.